<laughs> yep. So uh, first thing that we can see are the atria at the top. This is kind of difficult to see because it's all squished down here. Uh, but we're seeing the outside of the right atria and we're seeing the outside of the right ventricle here. This is the interventricular sulcus in between the, the two ventricles. You can see the large left ventricle here and above that left ventricle there's going to be a left atria up here. If I, if I open it up a little bit, it's not really that easy to see, but this is what leads into the, the right atrium up here and then the right ventricle uh, is obviously just below that. I can open up this right ventricle. We can see the tricuspid valve that leads into this right ventricle. We can see that the myocardial wall of the right ventricle is pretty thin. If we look closely on the edge of the heart, the outside layer is that epicardium. The wall in the middle there is made of myocardium. And then the muscle in the very inside layer of the, the chamber of the heart is the endocardium. Uh, if I open it up here, we can see again the wall of the right ventricle. Here's the thicker wall of the left ventricle. And we have this interventricular septum that separates this left ventricle and this right ventricle. If you look at the outside of the heart, the tip of it down here is actually the apex of the heart. And the base of the heart is at this end where the aorta and the pulmonary trunk and everything is. I believe that I showed that in this right ventricle there's a tricuspid valve and in the left ventricle, what leads to the left ventricle is this bicuspid valve. It's difficult to see on the real heart here, but the only way to get out of these ventricles is going to be through semilunar valves. There's a pulmonary semilunar valve that leaves the right ventricle and an aortic semilunar valve that's going to leave the left ventricle. Let me open the left ventricle to see if we can find that semilunar valve. be from the section that's missing. Okay, not seeing aortic semilunar valve. It might be on the top here. Ah. Here's our aortic semilunar valve. I know that's kind of difficult to see. Let me put this together. So we're looking at left ventricle, and what leaves out of the top of the left ventricle, if we go into this larger chamber here, I guess it's going to be this one. I guess through this hole would be pulmonary, is that pulmonary semilunar Might have to stop that for a second. <laughs> trying to figure, okay, so this is inferior vena cava. This has to be aortic semilunar valve that comes out of the top there. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with it. So the large one, aortic semilunar valve. This one is going right. Pulmonary semilunar valve. Both of the pulmonary semilunar valve and aortic semilunar valves are going to be off the top of the heart here. Uh, obviously Got hard to, to distinguish. Like <laughs> obviously kind of difficult. Here we finally have it put together correctly. Right ventricle, left ventricle. We open it up. The larger one around the outside would be right atrium. This one would be left atrium. What leads into it. So if this is the right ventricle, then this right here on the top is superior vena cava. If I go to the other one, this will be leading into the left atrium. Here's the cuspid valve that this 
is actually the, the left atrial, this chamber right here, left atrium, drains down into the left ventricle. And the only way out of the left ventricle is through, finally we find it here, the pulmonary, uh, say that wrong one more time, aortic semilunar valve leaves this left ventricle, makes its way out the top here. So the aortic arch would branch around. Uh, it should be the 